Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of a different video today from me. I'm sure you're expecting another Ultimate Career episode, but I've got plenty of comments in the past before saying, oh, how do you make driver transfers? How do you change up the uh, performance of the cars? And this tutorial will hopefully shed some light on how I do those. So let's get straight into it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step all the uh, process and procedures you need to do to make the changes that you'd like. And you need these two bits of software, both by the same guy, Petar. Very, very handy bit of software for these games. You can use this language editor here until, well, from 2010 to the 2018 Codemasters F1 games. And you also need this database editor here for... Um, if you want to do changes from F1 2010 to 2014. So um, yeah, 2015 to 2018, you can't use this database editor, sadly. But yeah, you will need both of these to do the uh, changes that you'd like. So yeah, I'll uh, link these in the description below. All you need to do, very simple, just click download now. Uh, you can give a donation to Petar. Obviously, he did this off his own back probably for free. So um, any... Uh, donations would be worthwhile but because I've downloaded this before I, I won't be making a donation sorry so you can just click this here no thanks just take me to the downloads then you'll get to this screen here where you can download the software for yourself it should have the um, most up-to-date version and then yeah you can press download it will download as a zip as you can see up here my Chrome downloads I've downloaded this before so uh, that's why it says uh, one right there, but you just have to, you know, unzip this, extract it. You can use WinRAR or some other software software like that, uh, which you can get free on the internet. And then, uh, yeah, you can extract it to your desktop wherever you like, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so you're thinking of a transfer you want to make, and uh, this is how you're going to do it. Thought that the example that we're going to use today, I'm going to do two transfers. And uh, I'm going to do them both in the 2013 game. So, uh, yeah, uh, maybe some spoilers for next season. Anyway, <clears throat> the two changes we can make already are Robert Kubica in for Felipe Massa in that second Ferrari. And then the other example I'm going to show you is Felipe Massa in for Nico Hülkenberg in the Sauber for that season. All right, so once you've extracted both uh, bits of software. It's the same process, by the way, for the database editor. Once you've extracted them, you've opened them up on your desktop and you're greeted with these two here. And you're thinking, why is it blank? Is it broken? What the hell? I've just donated £5 million for absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, no, it's not broken. You just need to load the right files into the bits of software. So, let's start with the database editor. First things first, you want to click on file up here and then pretty normal, you're going to open. Once you've pressed open, you should get to uh, probably your Steam library. This is the right file path up here for um, trying to get to any games that you've got locally stored on your computer. Uh, so in this case, it's in my D drive and uh, I've opened it up to get to the F1 2013 files in the right file that you need is under database and then it's just this top one here called database pretty simple should open up and you got all these tabs to the left here that are different modules for different things in the game but uh, we'll leave that for a second here you're going to go to the exact same file path here to get onto your f1 2013 files and you're going to scroll down in uh, this instance from f1 2010 to i think it's 2014 it'll be in a folder called language, but from the 2015 to 2018 games, it'll be a, a, a folder called localization. So a little bit of a difference there, but you'll end up seeing the right, the same file this uh, with this format here. And you're just going to open it up. Pretty simple. It should look like this. And then you got it. You can move on to the next step. All right, so yeah, we, we said one of the changes we wanted to do was we wanted to change Felipe Massa in-game to Robert Kubica. So pretty simple. First thing you're going to do is I 
is probably an easier way of doing this or a quicker way of doing this. I think there is a find, yeah, there is a find uh, function in there, but I just normally sort by this column here, the language key, and then I'm going to scroll down to find DB Felipe. That's his first name, and that's his first name in the game. And there we go, Felipe here. You see those values here. So this is looking for Felipe's first name in the game, and then there's a lowercase version as well. So, yeah, we're going to change Felipe to Robert. Pretty simple. Just replace it with Robert. And the exact same there. Perfect. Pretty easy. Um, pretty simply after that you're going to scroll down to find Massa and he's right here, oh, wrong ones, yep yeah, right here Massa uh, in all caps, there's a Massa lowercase so uh, capitalise first letter and then the rest lowercase and then a short version of his name which will probably be the one that shows up in the leaderboards when you're in the paddock, uh, when you're in your car, in the cockpit actually, so yeah it's just the first three letters, um, the initialised the first three letters of the f uh, last name. So we'll do that pretty simply. Massa being replaced by Kibitza. Make sure you type it in right, unlike I did just then. And there you go. Pretty simple. I'm pretty happy with those changes. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to save. And that should open up this screen here. Save as, and you're going to overwrite the old language file that you had. And you're just going to save as. Yep already exists but you want to overwrite it you do want to replace it just press yes and that's done all right so that's everything done in the language editor but now you need to change the database editor to reflect the changes that you've made previously well, that was a mouthful anyway you're going to go to the database editor that you have open and you've got f1 drivers down here this module here you're going to double click on it and you're going to be greeted by this a big table big database might look like a bit of gibberish to you but you only need a couple of the columns so we're going to go and find Felipe Massa here this is his uh, string here pretty simple and what you want to do is just change this value here this uh, in short name string ID I just I need to undo that because it actually just, just sorted it just then I don't really want that to happen Okay, that's fine. I fixed it. All right, so don't don't press that. <laughs> I thought I was going to highlight the whole column. Anyway, we're also learning at the same time, so that's great. But yeah, so you're going to go across to Felipe Massa, and you're going to type in the new initials that you just put. So you see it right here, KUB for Kibitza, and then that should come up as Kibitza. Where you do have to change both short name and UI short name to get uh, KUB to show up on the little leaderboard on the uh, screen that you get in the paddock when it comes down and uh, when you want to see the grid too. And then because Kibitza is not Brazilian you see this nationality ID here this is, a, this is a value that's looking up to a different column in the database editor so you're going to scroll down here you're going to find the nationality tab and then we're going to find the you see the IDs here, so it's looking up number 15 because uh, Massa is Brazilian. Go back here, yep, yeah, got 15 here, but Kibitza is Polish. A little bit of a shortcut. Kibitza already exists in the game for some reason, although he wasn't there in real life, obviously, after his accident. And the right number for Kibitza, or Poland, I should say, is 48. We'll just double check that. Scroll down to 48. Yeah, it's Poland, so we can uh, kind of assume that that's correct. Put in 48, press enter, and it's done. We'll save that. Pretty happy. And yeah, exactly the same. You're going to overwrite the old database file that you had. Press yes. You do want to replace it. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, if that's the only change you want to make, Bob's your uncle. Let's go check if that has actually worked in game. And there we go, we're on F1 2013 and it has worked, obviously it's got uh, no picture because Kibitza is not in this, uh, he's not in the sport in this season so there's no picture for him but the change has worked and I'm pretty sure if you go in game it'll come up with the Polish flag against its name so we know it's worked. Oh, well that's one example done, let's show you 
the next one. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to put, change Nico Hulkenberg in game to Felipe Massa in the Sauber. So we can do that again. We're going to start with the surname though this time. So we're going to find Hulkenberg in the language editor. We're going to scroll up. Scroll up. You could probably just use the find function. It's probably a lot easier. But uh, here we go. Here's Hockenberg's, uh couple of lines here. So we're going to replace a Massa in there. Put Massa here too. And then M-A-S. Cool. All good. But this is where there's a little bit of nuance. So um, all the other driver changes you can do with no problems at all. But... I was, I learnt this the other day for the Australian Grand Prix. You must, you might have seen that Sergio Perez was called Nico Perez, um, but uh, very kindly, someone in the comments, I think in their name was Jairu or something like that. Please <laughs> don't uh, crucify me if I'm getting your name wrong. But he told me um, how this actually works. So you'll see here, Nico and Nico too. Obviously, in the sport, we got Nico Hulkenberg. And we've got Nico Rosberg. Obviously, they got the same first name. So we want to change Nico Hulkenberg. But uh, just for ease, I would stick to you to changing Nico two here. So um, obviously they've thought of this uh, preemptively that people might be doing this. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But anyway, we can change Nico two just like the others so Felipe in all caps and then Felipe with the capital F but if you go into the game you'll get Nico Massa and Nico Rosberg because um, you haven't done the right change in the database so we go back over here Nico Hulkenberg we wanted to change to Felipe Massa and you see this first name string ID column here. So basically this uh, this string here, this column here, this is looking up a value which is equal to Nico2. And you can see this language key here, DB Nico2. That stands for database Nico2. So when the database finds a value called Nico2, which you can find here, It'll match it to Felipe and the same for lowercase as well. So hopefully when we go into the game, um, Nico Hulkenberg will be changed to Felipe Massa. But obviously we haven't changed his nationality and short name strings yet. So we can do that just before we forget. M-A-S, M-A-S, and we remember the nationality ID for Brazil is 15 so go to 15 yep it's definitely brazil i've remembered that correctly 15 bang all done so we can save that once again save that once again and now we should be able to see this in game hopefully it's worked and there we go felipe massa is back in the sauber so uh maybe <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a spoiler for next season. Obviously, I think Massa is going to stay at Sauber regardless of what happens. Um, just disregard Gutierrez there. But yeah, if I didn't change that Nico 2 value, well, the Nico to Nico 2, it would have come up as Nico Massa. So yeah, shout out to that guy in the comments. Thank you very much for that. As uh, Yeah, that helped me out massively. And now I'll pass on the knowledge to people who are obviously struggling and uh, in the future. Anyway... Let's go to Mercedes to make sure we haven't changed Nico Rosberg's name. And there you go. Oh, 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 yeah. You didn't see anything. But Nico's name didn't change. So that's what we are after. And there we go. Felipe Massa. Let's go in game to make sure that the uh, nationalities are pulled through and the short names too. All right. So we're in game. There you go. P13 Massa in the Salba, the Brazilian. And then we open this up. You can see in sixth place, Robert Kubica, Poland. Beautiful. So, they clearly work. And uh, very nice. Let's try Let's have a go with Massa in this Salba for 2013. 
Alright, well, that's a brief overview of how to make driver transfers and changes in these early Codemasters F1 games. I know there's not really a tutorial out there for people to look at and see how changes are made, but uh, yeah, pretty simple, pretty basic, and uh, I showed you that one nuance with um, when you're trying to change either Nico Rosberg or Nico Hulkenberg, but uh, yeah, that's an easy fix, and uh, that's probably the, o the only time where you've got to worry about that in the future. So yeah, if you did enjoy that video, if you think that tutorial was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe in the future. And hopefully we'll get back to Ultimate Career. But yeah, if you've got any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll try and help you out as well. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.